This kind of goes to a favorite saying of mine, which is, it's not what you're given that's important. It's what you do with what you're given. And in 1987, the town of Churchbridge was given our provincial campground. Churchbridge Town Council knew absolutely nothing about operating and maintaining a campground, as very few town councils probably do. But they made an offer that the town council at that time could not refuse. So we took over the 30 plus acres of the campground and it included 37 campsites, most of which were electric. People were impressed with the bathrooms and I thought, well, that was rather odd. I mean, how can a bathroom be better than another one? But apparently they are. We've got fire pits for most of the campsites. They have a playground in the back with slides and swings for the children. We've got a nice little building. We call it the Red Shed to provide to groups that are willing to maybe just have a uh, evening get together with friends and family. They have ball games, they have birthday parties out there, family reunions. Church preaching blooms put in a beautiful garden. They planted 150 trees this year. Next year they're going to do 200. We are sort of a home away from home for a lot of contractors working in the area from outside the area. I come from Whitehorse last year, I know. Quebec, uh, down east. Two retired teachers came in, traveling from Alaska back to New York State. And they said, out of all these travels going and coming, they had never seen such a nice campground. We're very excited about our 12 basket Churchbridge Credit Union Disc Golf Course. It was added in the spring of 2019. Disc golf can be enjoyed by any age, can be played in the winter. It utilizes the trees, bushes, and natural features to make one of the area's most challenging disc golf courses. We've had a couple tournaments and it's drawn widely. Recently we had a hallowed walk for the Halloween season where we put on a story walk around the walking trails at our campground where we told lots of members of our community about the tale of Sleepy Hollow. Lots of people showed up, there was food contests for costumes, contests for pumpkin carvings. We're currently in the midst of developing the Churchbridge walking and bike path. It's an extensive walking path network in and around the campground. When completed, it will be approximately 1.3 kilometers in length. The path is also groomed year round and is used for cross country skiing and snowshoeing. We have people that come year after year. Every Even year. people from next town, they come and spend the weekend <laughs> <laughs> at the campground so they can get away from the regular uh, business of life. There are a number of folks who have added attractions along the path, garden ornaments, bird houses. We were approached by a family that are gonna be holding a wedding reception in the park. And they said, we're gonna set something up for our own wedding, but maybe we could do something that we could leave permanently for the future. The Churchbridge Library organized a story walk and a nature quest, a treasure hunt for kids. This is kind of really exciting for a council because what we're doing is just saying, there it is. If you've got an idea, bring it to us and we'll see what we can do with them. When you get an idea, there is a real readiness in the community to embrace and support that idea. Through the years, there have been a lot of people who have left Churchbridge with an excellent impression of our town, thanks to the campground. We have a lot of volunteers in Churchbridge that we can be really proud of. We love the campground. I think people sometimes take it for granted, but it's an amazing place and I'm very happy that we have it. There's a lot of draw from the campground to the town of Churchbridge. There was a certain amount of hesitation, a little bit of what are we getting into when we got into it, but we did and boy are we glad we did.